Good morning, Ben. I sure hope that you had an opportunity to join us last night for our Lenten dessert coffee devotion as we began a series looking at the songs of lament and looking at how they are a tremendous gift from God to us, given to us from God to sing at moments in our life or to sing uh, as these moments unfold in other people's lives, but we can sing them together as we move forward toward the common hope that we have in Christ. So this morning we continue with our daily lectionary from Mark chapter 4, beginning at verse 21 through 41, but we probably won't cover all of those verses. Jesus says, he said to them, do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on a stand? For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what he has, will be taken. And then the parable of the growing seed. He also said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain, first the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. And then the final reading, parable of the mustard seed. What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest seed you plant in the ground. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that birds of the air can perch in its shade. Jesus continues to tell us a little bit about the mystery of the gospel and how it continues to grow in our midst and how sometimes we don't even see how it is that he is at work to make this gospel bear fruit in the lives of others, but he does, and we trust his work in that process. And so as we sow seed, uh, we trust that the harvest from that seed will come through the work of God and his spirit working in and with and through the gospel in the life of those who hear this great word. Men, have a wonderful morning and a great day.